starting off with the uh, Crossman Premier Ultra Magnums, which is ten and a half grain. <laughs> Not weigh them straight out of the tin. <clears throat> Got target set up at twenty five meters or twenty seven yards. Okay. Right, I'm gonna aim at the top left hand target. Ten point one. Ten point six. Ten point three. Okay then, so that's between one. Probably about a four centimetre drop. So on the scope in mill dots, one hundred yards. It's one centimetre per click. Two centimetres at. Uh, 50. So I'm going to have three clicks. So three fours of 12. Okay. Let's see where we are. Same target. 10.1. 10.2. 10.3. Okay, I'm going to come down two clicks. All right, I'm just going to go for it then. So the bottom left hand target is for the crossmans. So, more or less getting 10 millimeter groups at 25 with the Crossman heavies. 10.1. And the last one will be at the spinner to the left of the target. 10.2. Okay then, so that is the Crossman Premier Damed Ultra Magnums at ten and a half grains, and they can't be fitting the barrel the barrel that well, which is producing ten foot pounds on most of the shots, or ten point one. So it's an average of ten point one foot pounds. I have ten six. Temperature is uh, sixty three point two Fahrenheit, nineteen point six mile an hour winds. Aromatic pressure 29.50, 67% humidity. So that gives an average of uh, 658 feet per second, 26 feet per second spread, standard deviation 5.9, 19 shots. So up next, we're going to try the uh, BSA Max, they weigh 10.49 grains. Now a lot of this will depend on how well the pellets fit the barrel. It's not just about accuracy. It's about uh, consistency of the pellet. So the shape of the pellet, the weight of the pellet will make, will make a difference. Okay then, so uh, up next, the BSA Max. 10.49 grains. We'll see if the uh, fit is any better on this and see if the power... Stays about the same or uh, goes up. Put the uh, BSA Max in now, quite a chunky looking pellet actually. Okay, as before, I'll be shooting, start off with at the uh, 
corporate target. Six hundred forty nine. What I didn't do. Let's get rid of all the shots before and we'll start again. Okay then. Same shot. 57. Right, I'll be doing it backwards round then. I'll go at the lower target and use the upper target because that's really buggered up the apple cart. 647. 661. Right, I'm going to bring the elevation up. It's on four clicks. So I think these pellets here are more inconsistent than the Crossman. 647. 656. Okay, we're going to go for it then. Top target. 659. 654. 649. Actually, they seem to be grouping all right, actually. But they're a bit high. 656. I'm going to go back down to where I was. And my new group will now be on one of the centimetre squares in between. So it'll be the second square across from where, it's, where the S is. 600. 52. And what I'm going to do is use that hole as a point of aim. 668. So there is some drop again. I think the wind is probably blowing towards me. 652. 647. 600. 45 Last one 652 Okay then, so point of initial impact and aim there's a hole on the top right of the group the total group is about uh, 16 millimeter five pence piece is 18 millimeter so it's still under a five pence piece at 25 meters or 27 yards but if you look at the uh, crossman down into the left if you discount the shot that went low and the one that pulled to the left they're all within a nine or ten millimeter well i'd say nine millimeter so it's torn towards the top so it could be even an eight millimeter group for the crossman so they're not too bad so <clears throat> having a look at the uh the information on the chronograph results then so average of 652 high of a 668 and a low of 643 spread of 25 standard deviation 6.2 foot poundage I think it's even lower than Crossman yeah it's averaging 9.9 .9 foot pounds I have 10 four, a low of 9.6 so uh, not achieving the uh, the best results for power but they are a look, a heavy looking pellet and obviously if they fit the barrel better they would probably uh, come out a bit faster you see the wind speed now is uh, 20.7 mile an hour <coughs> So uh, that is the uh, testing of the two heavy pellets. I'm not too bad. So uh, I've got the Discovery ED PRS scope on it. That's a 4x20x52 reticle first focal plate. And I'll be, uh, well, you'll see the reviews for this in the next uh, day or two, probably from Monday onwards. But it's really nice scope that I'm getting used to. So thanks for watching. 
and I'll catch you soon. Thank you. 